Hi! Okay, so I am gonna do just a quick little eye tutorial for you using red shadows, reds and burgundies. So it's been kind of a trend, but it's kind of one of those like, how in the world do you wear red eyeshadow kind of things? So I'm gonna do a red eye. Red eye. Usually that sounds like a bad thing, but mm, I'm gonna give it a shot and see what you guys think. Um, it's a little out there, but it's super fun. It's awesome for people with green eyes too. Like myself. So, we're gonna start. So, I'm gonna start with just a good all over base color. So, I'm going in with, this color's called Vanilla. Just a matte color. And just do that all over lid to brow. Just using a big eyeshadow brush. Awesome. Now, for my crease color, I'm gonna use soft brown, and I'm just gonna use my big blending brush. Dust it off a little bit, make sure there's no color left on there. So just get a little bit of that soft brown, and really keeping it toward the outside corner of that eye, just above your crease. And just kind of in circles, blend that in getting a little bit smaller as you come into the inside corner. So you can see it has that really warm, already kind of burgundy red color. So just circle, 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 keeping that heavy toward the outside and getting lighter as we come in toward the inside corner of our eye. Just really blending that. Just like that. Okay. Cool, so you have that crease color done. Now we're gonna go in with this deep burgundy color. And same thing, just blending toward the outside, coming in lighter toward the inside corner of that eye. We're gonna get a little heavier onto our lid. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see me me and my forever chronic hair tie wrist. I can't not have one. I would rather wear a hair tie than jewelry. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. It means I'm sporty, duh. Obviously, most unathletic person. <laughs> so, just bringing that in on our lid, just about halfway across. So kind of smoking it out a little bit. Same thing, kind of patting, blending, and just sort of circular motions. Just kind of creating a little bit of dimension there on the lid. Same thing on this one, just about halfway across. Blending in those little circles. Just a flat little eyeshadow brush. Oh, there's my hair. Just a flat little brush. And I'm gonna use this really pretty pink shimmery color. And I'm gonna get a little bit of that on the brush. And I'm gonna bring that from this inside corner of my eye and just kind of pat it just along my lash line, kind of where that brightness is. Just like this. Kind of keeping it just really close to that lash line, just for that pop of brightness. Just to kind of blend that, open that eye a little bit see the difference. It just is a little something extra. So go in with that pink. This is really going to give us sort of a warm sunset kind of ombre look. It's going to fade and blend really well. Awesome. Okay, so now's the fun part. This is about the reddest eyeshadow I've ever used in my life. But I'm gonna use just a sort of medium sized eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of that red on my brush. This is like terrifying. And I'm just right in the middle of my lid. I'm gonna put that little pop of red. Just kind of packing that there. Just a little pop and then we'll blend that into our burgundy toward the outside. 
Watch those eyes go green. Now just going back in with that blending brush, just kind of blend right across there, making sure it blends really well into that burgundy. Blending that right out. Awesome. So now I'm going to do a little bit of a winged liner. So I'm gonna use just a liner brush and just a little gel pot, black, and I'm gonna line about as close to my lash line as I can. And really, we're gonna get in that water line as well. So, just really get along that lash line. And as you guys know, I like to get really, really light toward the inside corner of my eye. I always make a huge point about that, but it really does open your eye if you keep it heavier toward the outside and a little bit lighter and a thinner line toward the inside so you don't get that really heavy, stark line across the top. It just looks a little bit more professional. It's, I like to say it's all about placement, sort of that quality not quantity idea, it's the same thing. You don't have to wear a lot of makeup as long as you're placing it in the right spots. So lining as tight to that lash line as you can. And then getting into that water line. So on the bottom and the top, it's really just gonna kind of smoke out those eyes. It creates kind of a little extra dramatic effect. So just get in that waterline. And then on the top, just really line right in those lashes. Okay, now for our wing, this is a, I've been doing this, I feel like it draws my eyes into more of a kind of cat eye shape, but I'm lining not from the actual outside corner of my eye, because I feel like that's a little lower than I want, but I'm bringing my wing from just above it. So, just honestly, a teeny, teeny bit, and drawing that just straight out. So those wings are done. We're gonna clean those up and then we're gonna bring a little bit of that burgundy underneath our eyes and then throw a little outer lash. I'm cutting my lashes in half so we're keeping that drawing out and then we'll be done. I already did my face makeup for this video so just to be quick. So if you want a full contour video, check out my cream contour tutorial. So I'm just gonna clean up this line with a little bit of um, concealer. So I'm using a concealer brush, and then this is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm just gonna get a teeny bit, and I'm gonna bring that just under my eye, just to kind of clean up that little spot. And then we'll set it. And this is why normally I like to do my eyes first so that you can really clean up that line and it just looks smooth, perfect. And then I'm gonna use just my big blending brush. Blend that right in. So we've cleaned up that line. Now, I'm gonna take 
that same brush that I did the red with so that I still have a little bit of that red color on my brush. And I'm gonna get just a teeny bit of that deep burgundy color that we used and just blend that underneath just to kind of tie it all in. So now let's throw in a little bit of mascara and then we'll add that lash and you'll be set. So then I'm just gonna take, these are Kiss lashes. I get them at Walgreens, but they are Easily my favorite, um, like more natural looking lash. I have a few others. I like Ardell lashes, which I can, which I also get at Walgreens, just at the drugstore, probably CVS as well. Um, but I love these. I get them in like a six pack, and then I cut them in half so they last me forever. I can get like two or three wears out of each so they're awesome so you cut those guys in half and then I'm just gonna use the bigger side but you'll see it kind of angles so you want to put the bigger side the more full side on the outside of your eye so that it kind of seamlessly blends toward the inside with your lashes yo natural lashes and then let that dry just a little so it's tacky and it sticks really well and then we're just gonna put that on the outside of our eye just right on that lash line for just that little bit of extra length and volume it really just kind of draws those eyes out adds to that kind of cat eye effect let's do that other eye and there you have it there are your eyes so then just do a really great neutral lip and you're all set So there you have it, your red eye. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click subscribe, like it, and share it with your friends. And I definitely want to know what else you want to see, so shoot me a message or leave a comment and let me know. Thanks so much, guys.